back to our channel. We're Dos Cabasos, and this is My Hero Academia Season 5, Episode 19. So the last episode was pretty emotional for the Todoroki family. Uh, Endeavor is going to be staying here at his old home and going to be making a new home or having a new home built for his family. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of things going on with the Todoroki family, and I mean, it's debatable, you know, if that was like the right move or not, but I mean, in his mind it was at this mm -hmm. point. He wants to atone for what he did, and I don't really know what that means at this point for, for that family in living a normal life. In his mind, I guess, what he's thinking is like, they, for them to live a normal life, he has to not be in it. I also wonder when we're going to get back into like the whole Liberation Army thing. Like, are we going to get to see more of Hawks and like what he's doing with them? Um, and just more about that in general. I'm really curious because I feel like at some point the students are going to have to get involved in yeah. that. Obviously, that's why they did this whole program. Um, but I... I'm excited for, kind of excited, but also like not, because I feel like it's going to be a big deal when they find out more about it too. Yeah, no, I, I really feel like it's going to be a major storyline for this, for the series. And I mean, at this point, like we're on episode 19, it's really feeling like it's going to definitely bleed into next season because I just don't feel like, I feel like it's too big of a story. And this is just based off of what we know so far to not, I mean, to not have like a lot of episodes dedicated towards mm -hmm. it. Um, there's still so much, I feel like we need to learn about the Liberation Army and their motives and all of this obsession with Endeavor has been really interesting by these random assortment of people and how he, people are saying that he's going to blind them from what's going to happen. And I, I really don't know what that means yet and I really want to find out and I hope we find out relatively soon. I hope we get some answers before the end of the season. All right, before we jump into this episode, don't forget to like and subscribe and head over to our Patreon if you want to watch our full-length reactions to My Hero Academia. And also, we also started two other series over there, Castlevania as well as Steins Gate. We also do have a second channel called Dos Cavazos IRL where we do vlogs and other things like that. If you want to check that out, the link's down below. All right, let's jump into this episode. Our first year at UA seemed like it flown by and suddenly there were just three months left. Mom. It's crazy they're still in their first year. <laughs> Thankfully, Manuel, the hero with whom I apprenticed at my work study, is a leader in Hosu. It was just one week, but he taught me well mm. how to work hard without being uptight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's loosened up now. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, you mean you mastered that weird new power? But I still can't control it for more than a moment, and its uses are pretty limited. But it's strong. <laughs> Make my body move as fast as my brain. I am here, the symbol of sweet. <laughs> that was oh, so my. funny. Yeah. Where's Mr. Aizawa? An urgent matter arose. What is this? Something's weird. Mm -hmm. Does it have to do with Airy? Maybe not. Can't you make this thing go any faster? Enough already. Relax. Uh oh, they're they both look together. They nervous. Yeah. What's this? Are you the freaking traitor? I, for one, refuse to believe it. What? I bet Mr. Sukauchi and the others have just got it wrong. What is going on? Is this the prison? All for one? So let's get to the point, shall we? Aizawa, calm down, bro. Oh my gosh. We have to provide background. Something's weird. It's sophisticated. So it took us a long time to figure out. Oh, I forgot about him. Yeah, oh, the fucking yeah. Warp point They've combined a bunch of quark factors. A base with others added to form a single new quirk. We've identified the factor that served as the base. It belonged to a kid you were quite familiar with in your UA days. What? A young boy who lost his life way too soon while working to save others. We found out that this base quirk is a very close match to Obro Shirakumo's. Had to have been somebody they'd known when they were younger? Yeah. That's what they're inferring, right? Somebody who died. <gasps> oh, yeah. Time, we were working hard to become heroes <laughs> together. <laughs> Shota, you're so cute. I've been thinking when we graduate, we should start a hero agency. So did they like take his quirk? <laughs> Gotta think it over before I agree. <laughs> uh, what is there to think about? Let's just do it. Passion is teaching. <laughs> he and I were doing our work study together. Oh. He got caught in a collapsing building. We're trying to work study. There one second and gone the next. Oh my God. He dreamed of the three of us starting an agency, but died right after sharing those plans with us. So how does he relate to this guy? In other words, I feel like Kurogiri is a kind of Nomu. He he is. That the base of his quirks was adapted by using Oboro Shirakumo's remains. Oh my gosh. This doesn't make any damn sense! Do you want to know why we often attack UA? It's simple, really. 
Where else can one find such a concentration of outstanding quirks? <sighs> he went on to say it was like being a dog under the table at a five-star restaurant. Oh, oh my gosh, fuck you. Oh. Well, remember, I fought Kurogiri at UA. He spoke completely differently than Shirakumo. Yeah. And he didn't have any notable reaction to me. Maybe because they did experiments on him. To see if his altered memories, or even memories they erased, would affect the way he carried out orders. But I'll emphasize again, if you can just get him to talk, it'd be a major break in the case. That's insane. They freaking knew him, like... I want you to reawaken Oboro Shirokumo's mind. That, like, explains so much about the freaking Nomu, too. Yeah. Like, that... But they're, like... It's advancing, then, because, you know, they used to just be, like, these mindless beings. Now it's, like, they're taking... But they have, like... They could talk. Some they have personality. Some yeah. the personality, but they, like... Remove the person in a sense. Try anything. His family? If you two can't get through to him, we're going to ask them to see him next. Oh! I would never allow his parents to think their son became something so disgusting. Oh my Aww. gosh. Even when a racer looks at him, the haze hangs around. I guess his body doesn't have a normal form. This freak is nothing like our old friend Shirakumo. How is Tomura Shigaraki doing? He hasn't been captured, has he? Are you concerned about Shigaraki? Indeed, it's my duty to look after him. Why did that strike I a chord with him? I questioned it. I'm not the type to neglect a friend. <laughs> Is there something that he recognizes in him? A cat? I remember. The kind of guy who had taken a stray kitten. Oh. After I had pointedly ignored it. That kind of guy. I'll lend you my goggles. They'll hide oh, oh there were his? Get in close. Check it out. Never oh. Finish. Never worrying about consequences, despite the fact that a single misstep would mean your death. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh, wait, happened. are we getting something? I've been incredibly strict with my students. Word on the street is you expel quite a few of them. Maybe, but only on paper. Expulsion goes on our permanent record. How will we ever get jobs? The authority to expel and re-enroll them? Yes, sir. Sacrifice for others is different than throwing your life away. When these naive kids get the two mixed up, I can expel them. Give them a little death so they'll learn. <laughs> Re-enroll them. That way they know what's at stake and they'll strive to reach even higher. Okay. So that explains that. Yeah, his whole expelling thing. You know why I did it? I didn't want them to make the same fatal mistake you did. I didn't want them to become heroes who devalue their own lives in the name of empty justice. Oh. At the same time, I wanted them to be like you. Aww. I wanted to shape them into heroes who motivate and inspire. And I want all the greatest heroes to live long, happy lives. Is that gonna wake you up? Something's happening. If you're in there, if there's any trace of my friend left at all. <gasps> Something's happening. The three of us, we could still do it. We could be heroes. Brainwave anomaly. Please. <laughs> Tell me, the monster oh who did this to you! Where'd they take you to mess with your brain? The three of us were in class 2A together at UA High School. And we were all going to become heroes together! You're over, Oshirakumo! Oh my gosh. What happened? Damn it. Oh. I am Kurogiri. Oh my gosh. The protector gosh. of Tomura Shigaraki. That's it. That's so heartbreaking. Nothing you're saying makes any sense to me. <gasps> <gasps> oh! Oh, oh shit! Oh, oh. Yes, you can fight this! Come on, Shirakumo! I mean, there's three of us after all. Oh. So even if one of us slips up, there's no doubt the other two will always have his back. Hospital. <gasps> no, come on, break through. Eraserhead. Present, Mike. That's enough. Oh my god. Are your eyes okay? Aww. They're a bit dry, but no big deal. That was heartbreaking. We've never seen that side of him before. It seemed like we were close to getting something more specific. Was, could that mean anything? Sorry we couldn't be of more use, or if it was I a I feel like there could be some meaning to that. My sole concern here is ensuring there will be no further victims. I'll do whatever that requires. I'm just hoping to see some progress. Wow, so friggin' ominous. The song and everything. Hospital. The pieces had fallen into place. Mm -hmm. A human with his ego still perfectly intact, what? who possesses unlimited power. 
the ultimate being whom all for one and I have sought all this time. What? My masterpiece, excellent Tomura Shigaraki. Shigaraki. You're coming along nicely. They're just, <gasps> oh my gosh. Okay, so that there, a lot that's of questions. why he did that thing earlier on the season, you mm. know. So they freaking experimented so on him. He's crazy. gonna have a shit ton of powers, I feel like. Like, because if they're the Nomu have all these different abilities and stuff like that, and I feel like every time they've been experiments and more and more experiments, and now they're perfecting that. On, they said he's like their ultimate mm -hmm. project, so I guess that was it, like to, to get it to this point. It's just so wild. And then the fact that, like, Present Mike and it was his, their friend. Razorhead. Like, I didn't know that they had that close of a relationship right, either. Yeah, so yeah. that was, like, kind of shocking because President Mike just pops up every once in a while. I feel like he only popped up during, like, you know, school events right. and whatnot to be, like, like the they MC were all and whatnot. Good friends, but friends, yeah. Wow. That was, like, a completely. I didn't think we were going to get an episode, you know, about Eraserhead and, and whatnot, but that was, wow. like, really good to see. To see the emotion he had. He, yeah, like, never we have never seen him like, like that, that before. All right, so this episode, pretty emotional. Mm -hmm. Probably one of the more emotional episodes of this particular season. To see Eraserhead in such a vulnerable position, right. and to see like the relationship that he had, even with present Mike, I didn't realize they were as close friends as they were, specifically in high school. Right. And to see that Kurigiri was actually their actual friend, and he's sort of kind of like a Nomu, but a more perfected version of that, in the sense that like he's more cognizant of like yeah. previous Nomus. Obviously, they're getting to that point where they're like perfecting this and there was something that they were working towards it seems like and it wasn't just like oh we're just gonna have these mindless Henchmen creatures type yeah things yeah and like uh the fact that it was their friend Shirakumo mm -hmm. to that's so crazy and then like we we kind of found out that these more like the Nomus now are were people that they took I mean we kind of knew that beforehand but now we know that they like have some semblance of their previous personality yeah. but like not really and they kind of broke through to him he said hospital which yeah. is where shigaraki's and we saw, at like you know his face kind of um but it just doesn't seem like they're ever gonna get past that or mm -hmm. go you know go any further to that which is really really sad yeah. and then at the end we saw shigaraki getting worked on and they were like you're our ultimate project so obviously he you know got leveled up so. yeah and we saw him obviously earlier in the season where he was just Destroyed. standing around destruction right. and we got to think that he's going to have a lot more powers when we actually see him after this. Um, it's interesting that even in that brief moment in time, he was still trying to get through and tell them hospital, but that was all he can get through across, that Shigaraki was at the hospital he was being worked on. Um, I mean, All for One has said it before, Shigaraki was like, you know, his... I say his pet project, but I mean the way that All for One talks about people. Kind of, yeah. Yeah, it, it was kind of like you know the one that he's been working on the mm -hmm. most, and you know there's always been these parallels with um, with All Might and with Deku and with All for One and with Shigaraki, and it's kind of interesting that Deku is getting powers or discovering powers right. this season, and now Shigaraki's gonna have more powers. Yeah. So. It's really looking like it's going to be like an even more... Because you know they're going to fight each other at some point. Like that's going to happen. And I feel like yeah. that's like the ultimate thing that they're building up to. That Shigaraki is going to be Deku's all for one. That he's going to have to overcome. Um, and I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I have a, a, I've a, been having this fear for a very, very long time. That Shigaraki was going to kill All Might. Like that's just a, something that I've theorized before. And I've, I don't know, I've always thought All Might was going to die at some point. I don't want that to happen at all. But I just feel like it will happen at some point. Um, and I don't know what that would do to Deku. Obviously it would destroy him. But I just feel like this whole, this setup that they've been doing, it has been a slow burn this season. But the moments that have hit have been really, really interesting. And although we haven't had... I would say one of the most memorable moments like we've had in like previous season, like, you know, Endeavor's moment, mm -hmm. uh, All Might's moment, even last season too, when, you know, Deku did like his infinite 100, those yeah. were just like some epic moments. I don't feel like we've had one of those just specifically yet this season. There's been a lot of emotional aspects to this season that have been really intriguing to me. And I really feel like we're going to get something here before the end of the season. And then obviously I feel like it's going to bleed into next season as well. I feel like another reason too Deku is kind of discovering all these powers is because he's going to need a lot more to fight Shigaraki eventually. Yeah. So 
him kind of, you know, perfecting these, like, kind of going through the motions to perfect these new quirks are, is really gonna be pivotal in the eventual battle. I'm assuming that that's gonna happen. I mean, yeah, I feel like, honestly, it's a while away. I feel like before, I mean, they might have interactions at first, but, like, the ultimate battle of this all, I feel like, is gonna come further down the line when Deku actually has control of all of his new quirks. Because, obviously, it seems like we're gonna have to go through the Liberation Army arc first before we kind of get back into Deku's other quirks. Mm -hmm. Obviously, he mentioned the Black Whip and how he has brief control over it for brief moments. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think that that's going to be enough at some point. He's going to have to kind of get back into like rediscovering these quirks and like seeing the previous wielders of One for All at some point here. And I really still feel like Shinso is going to play a big role mm -hmm. in getting him to be able to at least get the initial unlocking of yeah. those quirks. And like, I don't think he's gonna obviously help him master him, but the two times that he's actually had to go up against Shinso, he saw the entities, and mm -hmm. that has to have some meaning. There, There is a connection there. All right, well, if you haven't already, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you can stay notified for all of our future videos. Also, head over to our Patreon if you wanna watch our full-length reactions to My Hero Academia. We upload them over there. The link's down in the description below. Okay, we'll see you next time. Bye, everyone.